Hello kiddos and welcome back to Vlogmas. So this is an interesting hairdo. Um, I just didn't feel like having my hair out. I don't know. I just, I look bald and that's just the way it is. It is Vlogmas day five? Sorry. I suck at this. It's my first time. I get a lot of questions about how I take selfies, what camera I use, my lighting, my setup, everything like that. So I'm going to answer those questions today. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you're new, hello, my name is Javi. Follow my Instagram. I'm on Snapchat because I do things on there. So this is a very shallow video. The type of makeup that I wear is usually more on the natural side. This is like my more natural, not even glam. I'm not going to say glam because this is nothing. But it's more of like my everyday type makeup. I like it when you can still see, you know, a little bit of the pores and, you know, just texture. It looks nice. Like, yes. It just makes your picture have more depth to it as well. Now, my camera, what I'm filming with right now, it is the Canon EOS 60D. And I've been taking a lot of pictures with this. It's just once you get a really good camera, it's like you can't really go back to using, you know, your phone camera. I still, of course, I use my phone to do everything else. So it's not like I never use my phone. Even when there's shitty lighting, a good camera will kind of sort of fix that. If you're not going to do anything to your face, if you don't want to wear foundation, if you don't really wear makeup, I would just pop a little bit of mascara and some highlight and girl or boy. It's just going to make the picture so much better. Now for angles, things like that, you still need to practice. You need to know what angles are good. If you have a good side of your face, this is my good side. This is kind of my shitty side. I don't really like this side of my face. So I almost never take a picture with this side of my face. So you need to be that awkward person practicing in the mirror because it just makes everything so much easier for when you're taking pictures. It'll it'll look quick. Also, self timer is a beautiful, beautiful thing. If you don't have a camera, like a fancy, fancy camera that, you know, clearly if this is a really good camera, in your phone, you have a self timer. You can set up your phone on like the windowsill. Natural lighting, truly. We love natural lighting. We love her. Okay, angles. I'm gonna show you my favorite poses, like what I do. I love, okay, well right now I'm wearing a turtleneck, but I love collarbones. So you know how you can just kind of pop them out? Like, beautiful. I don't know, it just makes everything more, everything looks delicate and it looks like you're very poised and you know, I'm a queen. I have the case of the chins. I already told you guys of this trick or whatever. You put your tongue at the roof of your mouth and that kind of just makes your neck, or I'm sorry, it makes your chin kind of scoop up. So, look, this is normal. Just, I've always loved structured faces, like strong jaws. Like, I think they're beautiful. Not even just on men, like on women. I think it's so pretty. So, I have a real round face. As you can see, I have no type of jaw definition and it takes me... I mean, I can still make it look like I have a really defined jaw. If I do that trick, it'll work. But, you know, it's like, I don't want to try to make it look like I got a good jaw. Also, just angles, playing around with your hand, just holding your head like you got a headache or something. I don't know. Do something dynamic. You don't want just it to be your face unless, you know, you do. I don't know. Your selfies kind of get upgraded to a more pro status if you're not taking it like this. Like if you don't see, if it's not like a selfie selfie, you know what I mean? If you have a stand, if you have a phone tripod, you can get those. They're really inexpensive. My editing apps are obviously Facetune. It's really good for blurring backgrounds. It's really good for making details pop. If you don't want to sit on your face, it's great for that as well. Visco cam for just any other type of editing. I used to have so many other apps that I literally don't even use anymore. Backgrounds, props, where do I take my selfie? I'm very proud of my, you know, artistic side. I could curate my room to look like anything I want. It just looks a mess afterwards. <laughs> but I do have like on this side of my thing, I have a lot of plants. I love plants in my room. And I have a wall with like little instant pictures polaroids that type of stuff i have a record player i tend to have the plants in the background because i love the way that they look just blurred the good thing about blurring backgrounds is that you can't exactly tell what's behind you but you kind of can sit on the floor which i did for my latest selfie i'll put it up here i sat on the floor of my bedroom cleared my stand that i have there and i just put all my plants together i just posed in front of it and it was perfect because the camera blurs my background i could still do it on face soon just still blur it it's just nice it looks rich i love it it's an art it really is an art 
there's this thing called a smize. I'm still trying to do it. Obviously, it's, you, you gotta practice it. You kind of have to look like you're a little upset. The pout is very popular at the moment, but don't be scared to smile. Smiling is really nice. Never be scared to try new things because you don't want to be stagnant either. Like you don't want to be that, you know, taking the same picture over and over again. It's kind of boring. No different angles of your face if you don't practice. Play around with the type of clothes that you have. Like if you have a turtleneck like this or like this, like don't be scared play around with your clothes girl so yeah that's it for my video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope it helped you in any type of way i hope you guys are enjoying vlogmas oh a real random tip make sure you're listening to music while you take selfies because it's fun like you're you're just feeling yourself i'm gonna link all my social media down below so you can follow me because i do things on there and i hope you're having a wonderful day or wonderful night or whenever you're watching this and i'll see you in like two days <laughs>